Now, DCI boss Mohamed Amin and the acting inspector general Douglas Kanja addressed the media today at Jogo House, confirming the disputed number of bodies retrieved from Quarry Dam site as eight. Kanja assured that an autopsy will be conducted on Monday on the bodies, which were all female. He also highlighted that he moved Quarry Police Station officers to facilitate a fair investigation, which will, co will be completed rather in 21 days. Six decomposing female bodies were on Friday retrieved in an abandoned quarry in Mukuru, Kwajenga, Nairobi, wrapped in nylon papers and sacks, a mystery that caused horror and panic among Mukuru residents and Kenyans alike. The discovery of two more female bodies on Saturday caused many Kenyans and activist groups to demand for answers. Following these horrifying incidences, Acting Inspector General Douglas Kanja addressed the media at Jogo House, clarifying that only three of the five bags retrieved on Saturday contained human remains, as the rest had garbage and a dog carcass, therefore setting the number of bodies to eight. Five more bags were retrieved from the same quarry yesterday. Three of the, of the bags contained human body parts while the other two contained a dog carcass and the garbage, respectively. DCI boss Amin Mohammed confirmed that an autopsy will be carried out on Monday on all victims who are aged between 18 and 30, adding that the state has assigned top investigators to examine the matter, as the police have nothing to hide. But we have collaborated with the county government. We have collaborated with Red Cross, they really assisted us so much. So uh, later we were able to assess the thing, but still my urges and my request is the members of the public should collaborate. In terms of the success of any investigation, 70% of the success of any investigation is how do we examine the crime scene. Kanja announced that the investigation will be conducted in 21 days following President Ruto's demand and Kenyans' outcry demanding the responsible criminals to be quickly arrested and prosecuted. The police service and I would like to assure the public that we are committed to conducting transparent, thorough and swift investigations. Our departmental resources and the officers in collaboration with the ODPP are working tirelessly to conclude the investigations within 21 days. All Kware police station officers have been transferred to ensure a fair and unbiased investigation as Kenyans anticipate the results of this terrifying atrocity. Victor Washira, KUTV.